G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to the 77th episode in our Aston Villa career mode series for FIFA 19. Here we are halfway through February and we've got a pretty big episode today. The FA Cup round of 16 against Leicester City. We have the Premier League game at home against Newcastle, which is surprisingly a pretty high up the table one. But the big game in today's episode, the Carabao Cup final against Tottenham. Can we get the silverware that we've been looking for? We haven't made it this far in the Carabao Cup all series long. Can we finally win that title? And then potentially, depends if I played the Newcastle game or not, we will have Roma in the Champions League round of 16, the second leg. But if you guys do go on to enjoy today's episode, make sure you leave a like on the video. Also, Scorpion, kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, so we're in the round of 16 of the FA Cup. Our goal for this season is to win every piece of silverware available. So this is a must win game here at home against Leicester City, the round of 16. Let's get through to the quarters. So this is our starting lineup and I am rocking a full strength starting 11 here. We need this win desperately. So I'm not taking any chances. But on the other hand, here is the Leicester City lineup. They've got Francesco Verda, James Madison, Gil Diaz. It's a decent side. I don't know who their goalkeeper or basically anybody in their back line is besides Bornal. I'm hopeful we get a strong win here, but I, I don't know. I don't know what to think of that side, to be fair. Gray's on the attack here. Verda, oh, I've been sold up the river there. Need to hold our position. Saved from Donnarumma at the near post. Corner, though, for Leicester City here. James Madison. Sending that one in there, headed from Kimpembe. But it's still Gil Diaz in the box. Another save from Donnarumma. Good stuff. But we're trying to hit it on the counter-attack now. Jesus through. Lozano. Get there. Herving. Dragging it back. Deep. Rashford. Saved. Well won there from Neymar. Come on, Marcus. Marcus Rashford. A lot of space here for the Englishman. Green time finish. Saved from the keeper. Lozano. La Croqueta. In there. Brands header. Oh, he scores it. Julian Brandt has floated that one over the keeper. And we've taken the lead here before half time. I had a sense of disappointment in my voice because I thought that was going to be the tamest header ever. But it turned out to be perfect placement. Look at that beautiful La Croqueta. What a perfectly weighted header into the back of the net. And just before half time, we have taken the lead here against Leicester, the keeper, rooted to his spot. Get in there, Julian. Here we go. Maybe an opportunity for another goal here. Brandt to Lozano. Jesus to Lozano. Lozano through. Gabby. Ah, oh, fuck. Yes, it was a corner. Come on, let's get a second goal. Brandt. Kimpembe. Kimpembe misses. Here we go. Jesus holding it up. Going here. I see the run from Herving. Lozano, what a finish from the Mexican. 2-0 to start the second half. That was so satisfying to score. We played the, the dink over the top. The keeper, watch him. He tries to rush out to it. Then he realizes he's in a shit situation. And that meant that we had a lot more space to tuck it home. But that is still a class finish from Herving Lozano. 2-0. Half an hour remaining in this one's A corner here for Leicester City. It's going to be Madison to send that one deep. It's going to be floating around. I'm going to bring Jimenez out to it. For now. Going to Madison who hits the post. How does he hit the post from that angle? We are going to have a substitution here. Ruben Neves got booked early in the game. He's been making me nervous the whole game long. So he comes off. Francesco Ferrari on. Rashford. Neymar. Over the top. Jesus, touch. Jesus. Oh, that would have been such a nice goal. Still on though. Lozano in. Punched away. Rashford to Ferrari. That would have been so nice. We're going to go back to Rashford. Who goes to Brandt? Who finishes it off? Oh, this team is something special, lads. I am telling you that. We are such a strong team. 3-0 up here in the 70th minute. I am having so much fun here. What a celebration that is, but... 
That was such a beautiful passage of play. Substitution time with 10 minutes remaining in this clash. We're going to be bringing off Neymar, sorry, Lozano and Brandt, bringing on Hudson Adoy and Lenny Pintor to close out the final 10. Good defense from Pintor. Here we go. Look at Neymar. Get it to Neymar. Here we go. He's got no stamina left. But Neymar goes to Hudson Adoy and his green time finish goes over the crossbar. There it is, fellas. That is full time. We steamroll Leicester City and book ourselves a spot in the FA Cup quarterfinals. That's exactly what we're after. 11, no, sorry, 12 games to go in the Premier League. 11 points clear. We have a big game here against Newcastle. If we win this, that's going to put it like that. That's going to be massive for us to not only put Newcastle further back, but also put us further in the lead. We do take the lead through Brandt. He's had an incredible season here, Julian Brandt. Arguably player of the season, but Jay Zeus makes it 2 nil, which is fantastic to see. We are steamrolling Newcastle. Our side is just unfair how good it is. We've got 25 minutes to go. Digne comes on for them. Almiron on for them. If it stays like this, I'm happy. Brent picks himself up a brace. And that's 3-0 over Newcastle. <laughs> but here we go. It is the biggest game of the episode. It is an opportunity for the first time to win the Carabao Cup. It is Aston Villa versus Tottenham at Wembley Stadium. The Carabao Cup final. Here we go. The Carabao Cup final at Wembley. Let's go get ourselves some hands. Let's go get our hands on some silverware. We've been pretty average, pretty bad in cup finals throughout the majority of this series. Losing the FA Cup twice, but it's our first time to lift the Carabao Cup. Let's get it done. So here is our lineup, and it is identical to the lineup we rocked against uh, whoever we played in the last episode. That's bad. We played Leicester on the last matchup. It's our strongest possible starting lineup. They've been getting the job done. Let's hope they get it done once again. God, I'm losing my voice and I'm losing my sanity. And now a look at the Tottenham lineup. Kevin Trapp is the man in between the sticks. They've got Heinrichs, they've got Pavard, Kaldara, Klosterman. And this is a very good side. Casemiro, Kovacic, Eriksen, Simeone, and Harry Kane. This is as good a team that we're going to verse this season. That is such a strong lineup. Tottenham on the attack here. Sending that one in, headed half away from Juan Basaka. it goes, hits the crossbar, get up, hit the post again. What? Oh my God. Come on. We're on the counter attack here. Jesus, going here. Rashford to Neymar. Neymar, hits it, save the follow up. Oh, it's blocked. Rashford, what a finish. Marcus Rashford gives us the lead here. In the Carabao Cup final, I thought we squandered our opportunity, but 31 minutes into this clash, we have taken the lead here. Green time there. I thought Rashford, Jesus was going to get it, but what a finish from Marcus Rashford. An almost scissor kick there. 1-0 Aston Villa. We're really in this game now. We've really been starting to take control of it here. All the momentum on our side. Neymar hits it and just puts it over. Ericsson on the attack. Ericsson in. Headed away from Neves. Hit it. Good save from Donnarumma. I was trying to get there on the volley. I was trying to block it. I was saying hit it in terms of us trying to hit it away. Not for Kovacic to hit it. Oh, God. Thank God for that. All right. We need to be first to the header here. They're going to bring someone short, but are they going to play it to him? No, they're not. They're going to send it into Simeone, who thankfully puts it over. Hernandez, beautiful ball down the line here to Neymar. Neymar going to Rashford. <gasps> Jesus! Gabby! To Lozano! Oh, what a save! The follow-up 2-0! Herving Lozano! Let's go! We're 2-0 up here in the Carabao Cup final. And it is all in our hands now. I thought I stuffed it up. I thought I should have had it first time with Jesus. But in the end... We end up finding the back of the net through the Mexican legend himself, Herving Lozano. What a ball it was over the top. Let's go. They're on the attack here. Harry Kane. Going through. Klosterman. Come on, defend it. <gasps> no, shit. How the hell has it fallen there? Tottenham have got a goal back. Casemiro, I hate that that's the default celebration this year. 
but you can keep winding the clock down. Keep wasting time, Casemiro. You're 2-1 down, and you run into the manager to hug him, you dumbass. But how has that one gone through that many layers? I thought Simeone was going to score it, but it ended up being Casemiro, and it's game on again here in the Carabao Cup final, 2-1. Go on, Rashford. Go on. Lozano! Rashford! Oh, that could have been the two-goal advantage again. Pretty average finish when you think about it, but we're trying to get the two-goal advantage again! Hernandez hits the crossbar! Oh, what a game this has been! Well, one from Neymar. Come on, lad. 74th minute. Brent, over the top! Jesus! Oh, tipped over! We should have just waited for it to come down and hit it on the volley with our laces, but that could have been the game there. Beautifully weighted ball. Trap in no man's land. We just couldn't get the power right. Sterling on the attack here. Jimenez. Win that. Win that. Win that Lozano. Win that Lozano. Oh, Brent gets there. Thank God. I'm having heart palpitations here. We're trying to hit him on the counter. Ten minutes to go here. We score here and that might just about confirm the Carabao Cup. <gasps> what a ball. Neymar. Keepers off his line. And there it is. That's going to be the Carabao Cup. Surely. Neymar. What a goal! He drags it back. Keeper off his line. Lovely finesse. Oh my god. That is brilliant. That is brilliant football there. Neymar take a bow. I tried to green time that finish as well. But it is now 3-1 with less than 10 minutes to go. We just need to keep our defensive structures in place and the Carabao Cup will be ours. Every second we keep it out, the better it looks for us. And even like that, Harry Kane headering it straight to Donnarumma. We can hold on to it here and wind down the clock. There it is, lads. The referee blows the full-time whistle. And we, for the first time, I believe, in this series, have won the Carabao Cup. The quad dream still alive. Oh, I thought we were going to bottle it when Casemiro got that goal. But that was a fairly professional performance. And a clutch one as well. Some lovely goals. Tottenham are up there, I would say, with the hardest sides I have versed this season. They have a very good side, and it showed. Especially in the first half, I thought we were in strife. But our attacking prowess showed off. And now we are going to be Carabao Cup champions. Kim Pembe wearing the captain's armband for this game. Honestly, unless it's Francesco Ferrari or Tom Davies, nobody else really deserves the, the, uh, the captain's armband. But... Here we go. We're going to lift our first piece of silverware for the season. We did win the Community Shield, I believe, at the start of the season. But this is the first real piece of silverware. This is the Carabao Cup. 3-1 over Tottenham. Let's go, Aston Villa. Maybe a little bit of a dumb decision here. Hopefully not. But I have decided to simulate the second leg here against Roma. We have two away goals. If we somehow bottle this, then we don't deserve to be into the next round. If we can score an early goal, we'll be in a fantastic position. And we do. Francesco Ferrari gets us a goal. They get an away goal, though. So it is now 3-1 in the second half. Here we go. What's going to happen? Hopefully it stays like this. Hopefully no injuries or yellow cards for us. And we can get ourselves through to the quarterfinals. 15 minutes to go. Looking pretty good at the moment. Yedvaj with a red card. And we go through to the Champions League quarters. Taking down Roma. 3-1 on aggregate. In hindsight, a good decision to simulate. Another game we're going to simulate here away against West Ham. I'm taking the Premier League less and less seriously as our lead gets bigger and bigger. And focusing on the Cups, the Champions League, the FA Cup. But... We're taking on West Ham here away at the Olympic Stadium. Let's see what happens. We are away, so that might not look good in our favor. And we're rocking a somewhat rotational side with Silva, Kubo, Ito, all in the starting 11, along with Militao. But let's see what happens. Nothing at the moment. They've got Ryan Fredericks in there, my boy. My boy, I collabed with him. But 20 minutes to go here. Is it going to be a scoreless draw? It's certainly looking like that. And yeah, it's a nil-nil draw away against West Ham. But fellas, that is where we will conclude today's episode. We are going to begin the next one with an away trip to Old Trafford as we take on Manchester United in the FA Cup quarterfinals. We're getting very close there. We'll also have Derby County at home in the Premier League. And we've got PSG again in the Champions League. Not sure if I'll play. I'll probably will end up playing that game next episode. So... 
Oh my god. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, however, make sure you leave a like on the video. Scorpion kick that subscribe button down below if you're new around here. I'll see you for the next one. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.